Today's video is about the Florida probe system. I've uh, been asked to do an unboxing video that explains exactly what comes with the Florida probe system. This is different than the Florida probe dolphin system or the voice works or the go probe or the hybrid. So if you're interested in those other systems, don't hesitate to check in the other videos to look for additional information. Just to summarize, this is the entire system. It comes in a single box that weighs 11 pounds and the size is basically 18 inches by 15 by 7 deep and again the weight is 11 pounds it's sent anywhere in the United States uh, second day air and so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside when you open the box you're going to notice that there's a basic letter here to call and go ahead and schedule your software installation and set up your day of on-site training. So each Florida probe system actually comes with uh, a dental professional to come to your office and give you a full day, six to eight hours on-site setup and training. So we'll do that later. There are um, three free boxes of the dolphin hand pieces. So these uh, 12 hand pieces, one-time use, disposable per box. So there are 36 dolphin hand pieces to use. Go over that as well. Okay. So if you notice the Florida probe system comes in a briefcase like box and it's got two clasps on the front and kind of hinges open. And so let's take a look at inside. So inside is your user manual. And again, you've got another letter reminding you to go ahead and schedule your software installation, which happens remotely to your entire network. And then of course, to set up your actual day of on-site setup and training. Typically they're training two to three people. So usually the dentist and two hygienists and maybe one or two staff members up front. So there's our letter. Let's go ahead and look at the user manual. This is a pretty big user manual about uh, let's see how, what the page count is. It's over 100 pages. Looks like 130 pages. In the back of the user manual, you'll notice that there are sample printouts that uh, Florida Pro will print on any inkjet printer. And of course, these are color. So any color printer that's supported by Windows, you can make the variety of different charts. In the very back, you're going to notice there's an informational sheet about how to steam sterilize and clean the hand pieces, this Florida probe system comes with three steam sterilizable hand pieces. And so this is kind of an informational sheet to post up for your sterile tech. There's keyboard shortcuts that you can reference. Uh, you'll notice that this is a diagram to use the foot switch for your foot switch training. There is information about the PSR matrix and how to perform a PSR, a periodontal sextant um, report or screening. This is a simple flow chart and designed about uh, the insurance code. Here's the D0120, the D0150 codes, when to use those. And this is really about how to link, you know, from your software that may be Dentrix Soft and EagleSoft PracticeWorks, other software, or of course use it directly for step-by-step -step kind of a treatment plan. In the back of the user manual, you'll notice that there are two discs. This is a training DVD to go with the actual on-site training that you'll receive. There is a button in the software that allows you to get live support right through the software from any of the computers, so you can get additional help that way as well. Let's look really quick. The installation disc, there's only a single disc. This can install all the computers. Again, they're used to logging in remotely and either working with your IT department or going ahead and working with anybody in your office that will let us log in and install the software for you. Typically they're installing it on a server computer first. Any computer in your office can act as the server. It installs a MySQL server and that will support a maximum of about 400 simultaneous workstations. The average office has about 10 to 15 workstations. There's no cost to install it on one computer versus 50 so We'll go ahead and install it on as many computers that you ever want to view or print the charts on. Each additional workstation obviously has um, the ability to load the software as well, and that way it doesn't tax your network there when each 
computer has a full copy of the software. This software is designed to run on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and of course it's being installed on things like uh, Windows Server 2008, uh, 2012 and up. So no problems there. So we have our optical encoder. Uh, this one has been set to 15 grams of constant force. You can actually order it at 20 grams. Sometimes research or somebody is doing one with a very specialized pressure for research projects. So this is standardized. All the pressure then for the probing is set in the encoder cable and not in the hand pieces directly. So that's interesting. And I will take this out and look at this in just a second. You'll notice that the foot switch is a three pedal switch. So it's got a center pedal here. And then we've got a bleeding pedal and a pedal to put in suppuration. This button here is an undo button. So as we're using it at any time we make a mistake and we want to undo the last command, we can click that button there. So really it's a four pedal switch total and you've got 10 feet of cable uh, to plug that in. This is your USB interface box. This attaches to any computer that has a USB port. And so we'll take our USB cable and we'll connect this box to the computer. It typically is put on one computer that's going to be your probing station. But if you want to move this to any other computer or you want to put the computer on a cart, you can. Some people are using small tablets. Um, you can use small laptops and of course full time, you know, full size desktop systems are probably the most common. So this cable connects to your computer. This port then connects to your foot switch. And then on the front of the box, we're going to plug our probe cable in that we were just showing. And then, of course, when you have it plugged into power, the power comes from the computer. That way, if the power ever fluctuates in your office, uh, you don't have to plug this device into a UPS or an interruptible power supply. It's going to get the power directly from the computer. Let's take a quick look at the hand pieces. Again, this is the standard Florida probe system. And again, you get three steam sterilizable hand pieces. So these are um, going to be steam sterilized between every single patient. We have three of them. Each hand piece, we'll take a close look here, has uh, a tip protector so that you can kind of bag and use them. Uh, the tips are actually interchangeable separate. So I'll pull on one of these just to let you know that you can kind of replace the tips. These tips are an implant grade titanium tip and you can get them with or without a ball. These come standard with no ball. But inside the case here, we do have a tube of extra tips. And you'll notice here that there are uh, six additional tips inside this tube. And each one of these tips actually has a ball on them. So you can kind of test between the regular hand pieces and the ball tips and see which ones you prefer. The system has a one year warranty. So anything breaks for any reason. We don't care if you dropped it on the floor or maybe somebody rolled over something with their chair. It's a no questions asked warranty for one year. And the warranty includes software upgrades. So typically you should um, get four software upgrades a year. We're upgrading the software all the time. So you would get that free through the internet and we'd be happy to help you actually log in and install any of those upgrades for you. The system also includes one year free tech support. So there's a button on the screen that you can click and get free help right through the computer. And there's no cost per person and there's unlimited help in the first year. This bag of parts here is allowing you to go ahead and have some cable ties. Some people like to Velcro the box underneath the countertop or have it uh, accessed maybe behind um, a drawer or mounted to the wall for convenience. So just know this is some double-sided Velcro and you would uh, peel this off on both sides and then you could attach the interface anywhere you would like. This cable is designed to be able to snap to the cable that is 10 feet from the handpiece to the computer and some people are kind of attaching the cable uh, to the shirt of the patient or to themselves and that way the cable is nice and kind of held out of the way. These uh, looks like there are three uh, cables. Uh, these are self-adhesive little um, cable clips and typically one or two are used with a foot switch and then one or two are used with the encoder. There are people that have the ability to put this right here on the side of the USB interface box and then the handpiece um, when it's 
used with the encoder cable then can kind of hang on the side of the box or be out of the way uh, as well. So just know those are included. All right, let's take a quick look at our optical encoder cable. What's nice here is that all of the parts can only plug into the required plug type, so each plug type is different enough that when you get everything plugged in, um, that it can only go one way. And so here, as soon as we would plug the USB cable to the back, this would connect to our computer. Again, most computers have four to six USB ports. This will work on a standard USB 2.0 or the new 3.0. And again, as soon as you plug it in, you'll notice that the power light turn green. The hand pieces are going to connect to your optical encoder. And again, you've got 10 feet of cable. And to attach them, you would steam sterilize this. Obviously, it would be bagged, ready to go. You'd be gloved up. Anytime you're ready to go, you would just attach the hand piece. These are threaded on. And once they're threaded, they have a slip ring in the back. So now I can kind of move my cable up out of the way. I would take my tip protector off. And now I'd be watching the software, of course. And I would calibrate the probe between each patient and, uh, of course, steam sterilize between each patient as well. These hand pieces have an implant grade titanium tip. They've got about a 12 millimeter maximum depth. Uh, the software will record all the way up to 19 millimeters deep. They read at a precision of 0 0.2 millimeters. So this would take a reading of 3.2 millimeters, 3.4, 3.6, 3.8, or 4.0 or higher. The button on the hand pieces allow you to override the constant force temporarily if you're dealing with a calculus ledge um, or you want to kind of regain that tactile feel that you have with a fixed probe. These probes deliver uh, 15 uh, grams or 15 newtons of force and that way they always have a constant force under the gums regardless how hard you are pressing or someone else in the office that uh, may be using the system. That way it would standardize everybody in the office and you're going to take a measurement then from this yellow sleeve down to the bottom of the sulcus. I want to show you in the back of the tip protectors is the ability to kind of test the system at any time. Uh, how do I know it's reading perfect a year later or five years later? You're going to calibrate the distance um, of each tip so it doesn't matter what tip a handpiece has or how long it is. You calibrate it before each patient. This little stair step, if you notice the sleeve uh, is going to hit the top edge and then the tip hits the first stair. That would be a three millimeter mark. This would be a six millimeter mark and this would be a 9.0 millimeter mark. So at any time you can kind of use the tip protectors here to kind of check up on the system and make sure that it's reading accurately. Now again, this is the standard Florida probe. It has three steam sterilizable hand pieces. You can replace tips. You know, if you bend a tip, drop a tip, maybe you would, you know, change a tip once a year for breakage reasons, for steam sterilization reasons, uh, you would steam sterilize between every patient. I want to show you something that's included with this system. So you do get, as we were discussing earlier, um, three free boxes of the new Dolphin disposable hand pieces. And this is a one-time use disposable. Instead of a autoclave or steam sterilizable, there's an instruction sheet here that shows you how to attach it. But let's use one really quickly and just kind of look at it. You do have two optional um, adapter nuts. So normally the hand pieces are screwed on. And so when you switch or use the Dolphin, this allows you then to just use the ability to switch between hand pieces. So go ahead and take one of those on just to show you how this works. This is a bright green kind of adapter so you know for sure when it's in use. And now I would take one of my dolphin hand pieces. Again, these are sealed in a plastic bag. I typically would be gloved up, of course. I kind of move the hand piece to the back of the bag, tear it out of the back and slide it completely out of the plastic wrapper and I would grab my encoder cable I just kind of line it up if you notice there's a push rod and I just kind of want to line it up at first and when I get ready then I just click it on and it makes a nice little click there and now you're ready to go if you're not sure you can always double check the pressure based on um, your finger here and you're gonna hold it here definitely behind the scoop it's got a nice little Coke bottle feel, gives you a nice tactile, tactile feel. This would be used for an entire patient, and then you could detach it here, and you would just throw the entire thing in the garbage. These do use um, the same titanium implant grade tips, so you can probe safely around implants. Again, this is delivering the same pressure of 15 grams. These have a bright neon sleeve, so if you don't have loops and lights, if you're probing in the back of the mouth and can't see well, these neon sleeves give an advantage 
uh, in that regard. So again, these are one-time use between each patient. You have 36 as a free gift uh, to experiment with and offices that use steam sterilization 90% uh, of the time. Still like to have a box or two of these on the shelf in case my sterilizer goes down or in case maybe I have a high-risk patient today probing an HIV positive or hep C patient. This would allow me to take an extra level of security um, with sterilization and just use a, one that's one-time use only for that patient. So that sums it up. Um, please check below for other videos.